Hey, good morning, guys. This is Quentin from The Road Less Traveled. Uh, <clears throat> I was watching a video this morning from some of the brethren over in Jacksonville and uh, doing a, a church rebuke, uh, rightfully so. Folks out drinking and partying at that church, and uh, the pastor considers himself a sinner, uh, but uh, preaching to a, a whole congregation of uh, people that a lot of them are going out and living worldly and acting like the world, and... and uh, they did a church rebuke this morning. Well, anyway, the gist of my video is that they were using a Toa bullhorn, which is an excellent uh, megaphone, but it, it was sounding very muffled, uh, very mumbly, and so, uh, you know, I, I wanted to drop them a quick line and uh, comment and let them know how they can deal with that mumbly problem. And uh, I found it in the past from experience how this works uh, and clarifies the sound of these Toa bullhorns. And uh, I put it into... Uh, to exercise myself and uh, the way we do it folks is these things start mumbling it's it's one of two things it's either your battery cells are getting too low in power and they start sounding very mumbled and it's very hard to tell what the speaker's saying over the megaphone uh, so the either the battery cells are too low or you're standing with your mouth too close to the microphone and you're just basically eating the mic uh, more than likely it's usually the uh, the first one it's usually the battery cells so these things are ran on d-cell batteries and uh, of course d-cell batteries are very expensive uh, for the number that they need I think they need like 12 I've never actually put d-cell batteries in it uh, I know a brother that uh, I preached with a lot in Nashville who had d-cell batteries in his uh, megaphone and they're very heavy uh, the weight of them when you're carrying that bullhorn and then when they start getting low they get mumbled so uh, the, the answer we found, folks, was to use a power bank. These are rechargeable power banks. Uh, they're actually uh, made by a company called Talent Cell, all one word. You can find them on uh, Amazon. And these things are about four and a half inches long, uh, two and a half inches wide, or actually about four inches long, two and a half inches wide, and about uh, almost an inch thick. And they just fit inside the uh, battery cell compartment of the Toa Megaphone. And these things last four to six hours. Uh, before they go dead and they're of course they're rechargeable so I can go out uh, run each cell uh, four to six hours and then when they start sounding muffled then I'll switch over to another uh, battery cell and uh, I'm gonna actually show you how I set up my my megaphone here so we've got my Toa megaphone and inside the battery cell let me see if I can turn the camera around Inside the battery compartment, you see we've got these uh, these two on the outside, and then I just slide another one on the inside. They fit really tight. You actually have to kind of force them in, but uh, they work great, folks. So they sit down on top of the springs, and they're just in the compartment just to hang out. And you run this external cord from your power cell, and it goes to the outside of the bullhorn where you've got an external power hookup on the outside of the... Uh, the megaphone and like I said you just open up the compartment and you can uh, when one starts to go dead you just open up the compartment you pull the cord slip it over to another uh, battery cell and flip it on and you're good for another four to six hours and then I'm going to show you what I've got set up on my my megaphone a lot of people wonder when they see my megaphone you know why why all the tape and and I'm going to show you why I actually cut some of this tape away. What I've done is I put saran wrap around my megaphone and then I put the tape over the saran wrap and do this without cutting any cords. Now I put this on here when my megaphone was new so I actually did this because Brother Tim from Nashville uh, we were going out to a preach one day and uh, his megaphone rolled over in the, the truck and the cord where it plugs in here actually it broke it because it rolled over on it so what I decided to do was to cover all this up it does one of two things it covers it up I put a pill bottle I cut out a slot for it and to cover and protect that jack so nothing hits it or breaks it and uh, it also protects the end of the the cord where the microphone goes in so uh, that doesn't break or nobody can can pull it out I've seen people jerk on them real hard and it'd tear up the, the megaphone. So that protects that and it protects all my cords in here. Uh, that way the centers can't cut my, my cord, my power cord. It also prevents them from messing with the, the siren on here 
or the uh, any of the volume settings because it covers everything up and it protects everything. So that's why I actually use the uh, the tape over mine. And I haven't had this off since it was new, so I'm actually going to take it off and rewrap it. I just thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys how I've got this set up. I know this might be a help to a lot of street preachers out there uh, that still use the battery cells with their megaphones. So I noticed several times, you know, on several videos, uh, a lot of street preachers, when they go out their megaphones mumbly. And uh, I, I think that is a big issue. Uh, not only that, folks, but it saves a lot of money. These D-cell batteries that go inside these megaphones are very expensive. So when you keep uh, throwing them in there, it's, it gets very expensive. Good morning, Brother Kevin. Thanks for watching, Brother. I hope this can be of help to you. Uh, <clears throat> But I've been wanting to make a video on this for a long time, so I just thought I'd take this opportunity, just a quick opportunity to do a live feed and to talk to folks about uh, rechargeable battery cells inside the Toa Megaphone. Uh, I l actually looked for a link or something on YouTube that I might be able to link to these brothers in Jacksonville to show them how to set up this uh, Megaphone with the, with the rechargeable battery cells. And I couldn't find anything on YouTube concerning the rechargeable battery cells with the Megaphone. So... I thought I would make a video myself, so hopefully I can put it out there and uh, it'll be a lot of help to a lot of people. So, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been a help it, uh, to you guys. Uh, thank you to my subscribers for subscribing to the channel. And uh, we, we did have a good preach last night in Ybor City, and I've got a lot of footage taken from that. We've had a couple of uh, folks that are new faces to me, new faces to this channel, I guess. Uh, Brother Joseph, who uh, started preaching quite a while back, with some of the brethren in Ebor. It was actually before I came along and started preaching in Ebor. But he was gone from the scene for a long time, uh, getting ready to get married, uh, bought a new house, just busy things in life, and, and wasn't able to come out and preach. So uh, finally got to meet him last night, and he preached with us, and then also a brother, uh, Joseph, uh, which is a new brother that just come out and met us last week. And this week he came out and actually uh, did a little bit of preaching with us and uh, fellowship, held a banners, and just did some one-on-ones with folks. So I, I look forward to uploading that video footage of these brethren as they're out preaching with us. Some new faces for you guys to see in Ebor, and hopefully we can uh, get these guys equipped and get them out uh, preaching other communities as well around us. So God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope to have some good videos coming up on the channel. And, uh, you know, tell your friends about it. Tell your lost loved ones about it. Have them check out the channel. And God bless you guys. We love you. Thanks for your uh, loyalty.